Luckily, this snowman is made out of bushes and not snow, so he'll never melt. Hey everyone! Do you want to decorate for Christmas before the update is out on Bloxburg? But what if you don't have any decorations in your inventory? What do you do? Don't worry, I got you covered. Today I'm going to be showing you some ways to decorate for Christmas without update items on Bloxburg. Let's get straight into it! Did you know that only 3.5% of my viewers are subscribed? That's so crazy! If you want to be part of this exclusive 3.5%, then make sure you subscribe right now. It's completely free and you won't regret it. Now let's get into the video. Let's start with the classic one, a Christmas tree. If you don't have a Christmas tree from one of the previous year's updates, then lucky for you, they're quite easy to make. First, find this pine tree in the garden category. Now it's a little bit big, so if you want it to fit inside, you can just use the scale tool and make it a bit smaller. I'm going to leave it on its default size though. Next, go to the lighting tab and look for these colorful string lights. These colorful fixed lights should work well. Now switch from standard placement to custom placement and stretch them across your tree. In my opinion, it's easiest to do this from top to bottom. You might have to play around with it a little bit. In my opinion, if you kind of randomly place some too, it looks even better looking better already. You can paint the strings of the lights to match the tree a little bit better. I would also recommend putting a carpet underneath it to look like a tree skirt. I think this is super fun to play around with. If you want to go even further, you can use basic shapes and structural items to make tree toppers and ornaments. But I'm a little bit lazy, so I think I'll be skipping that for now. There are garlands available year round that you could wrap around your tree. But yeah, with enough attention to detail, I think you can make this look pretty good. Now though, I think we should move on to our next hack. Now that we have a Christmas tree, wouldn't it be nice to have some presents under the tree? These are super easy to make, let me show you how to do it. First, I found a cube in the basic shapes category and resized it to fit under the tree. I'm gonna make it a square present, but I think it would also look good in a rectangle shape. Next, I painted it with a design to look like wrapping paper. I think this one looks pretty nice. Up next, I used the standard square beams from the structurals category. I think the small square one looks the best. Using custom placement, I stretched them across the top and the sides to look like ribbon. I think a gold color would look good. Now you can move them under the tree. You can also copy and paste them and change the color schemes a bit. This one's super easy, but I think it looks pretty nice. Let's move on to our next build hack. Wouldn't it be great to have a lighted garland you can put on your fireplace? Well, even without the update, this one is super easy to pull off. By the way, you don't have to do this on a fireplace, but I think it looks really good on one. I'm just going to set down a basic fireplace to demonstrate this on. In the decorations tab, you should be able to find a plain garland. You can custom place this along walls, but it should automatically snap onto the fireplace. Next, I went to the lighting category and looked for colorful string lights. These will also try to snap onto the fireplace, but they don't quite line up right. So if you switch from standard placement to custom placement, you can place it along the garland. Now just paint the string green so it blends in a little better, and you're done! In my opinion, this is a really easy alternative to the lighted garland item from the Christmas update. Now let's move on to our next build hack. Snowflake wall decals are one of my favorite items and they're super easy to make on your own. All you need to do is grab a transparent decal from build mode. Then when you set the picture, you can look up just a snowflake. I also made a custom one that has like a bunch of snowflakes falling, I'll put the decal code up now. You can use the scale tool and resize this to fit your needs a little bit better. You can also paint it if you want a slightly different color tone. I think this is a super fun and easy way to decorate your walls. Now I don't even know if this next one counts as a hack, but I'm going to include it anyways. You can put Christmas lights on your roof year round and it's super easy. All you need to do is find colorful string lights in the lighting tab. I think the fixed ones look better than the string ones, but either one works. Now just switch from standard placement to custom placement and stretch them across your roof. This one is so easy and you can't go wrong with some easy Christmas lights. Up next we have one of my personal favorites, the snowman. Luckily this snowman is made out of bushes and not snow, so he'll never melt. You can even keep him around during the summer if you want to. To do this, look for the round bush in the gardening tab. Now paint it white and change the texture to concrete. And look, there we have one snowball already. I like to go ahead and copy all three of them and get the scaling right. That looks like a good size for the middle, and the top needs to be the smallest. Now to stack them, use a flat roof for the floating item hack. Place a carpet, and then place your snowball. Now when you delete the roof, the snowball stays. If you realize your scaling is a little bit off, you can still rescale them. I think I'm going to make the bottom one just a little bit bigger. Now repeat the process until all of your snowballs are in place. Once that's done, I like to make a hat out of basic shapes. Now just use another roof to place the hat on top. 
Now I'm just going to place some pillars around it to help with the arms and nose. I like to use these round rods to make them. You can delete the pillars and these will stay. I painted this one orange to look like a carrot and the other two brown to look like sticks. For the eyes, I just scale down a cylinder to the smallest it can be. I also do this for the buttons. Then just use a roof to place them. Placing these is a little bit tedious, but I think it turns out really nice every time. The last one is a little bit old fashioned, but it's the yard ornament build hack. This was actually super popular before yard ornaments were even added into the game, but I thought I'd bring it back up. In my opinion, it's easiest to do this with a basic shape, but you can also use a table if you'd like. I rescale it to about this height, then I place a log table lamp on top of it. You don't have to worry about painting most of it, but the shade is the part that you'll see. Next, use a round bush and place it inside of the lamp. After that, you can paint the bush to whatever design you'd like. I think this plaid texture looks cool. You can rescale the bush if you're not quite happy with the sizing, but I think it looks pretty good as is. You might notice that the bush wiggles a little bit, but you can change that in your game setting. I believe object quality is what changes this, but I'm not entirely sure, so if you know for sure, please let me know in the comments. That just about does it for today's video though. If you like these build hacks and would like to see more, please let me know. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, and if you want to see more, make sure to subscribe. That's all for me though, I'll see you next time.